Hi, it's Mitesh here from uh, Elena again. Um, a quick tip here on granting um, external users, third parties, access to your Microsoft Azure environments. So you may want to give access to people who are maybe managing specific service for you. Now, we're not talking about managed services because that's kind of slightly different. There's other tools and methods that they might use. But it may be a third party who's uh, looking after a piece of software for you. They may have their own software and they deploy it in your environment. And they will look after it and manage it for you or, or even just set it up for you, just giving them access for that initial setup piece. Um, the easiest, the, the most um, simple way of doing that is to grant them um, access into your environment. So you could use um, Azure B2B, kind of uh, invite them as guest users into your Azure AD, or you could even create um, identities in your own um, Azure AD if you wanted to do that. Uh, create a group, um, put the right users in there. And then what you would do is um, create, if you don't already have them, some um, custom roles just to give the minimum permissions required to do certain things. That might be, uh, for example, to de deploy web apps, uh, to deploy a SQL Server, for example. Um, um, and then you may have another group which, may, which when you go to support, and that could be just like uh, viewing and you know stopping and starting services rather than making any configuration changes to them. And then you've got to think about, um, granted, what level of access, um, sorry, what level of the hierarchy do you want to grant access to? And I think this is where a lot of confusion comes around from people. So you can grant access right at the resource level, right at the bottom, uh, so right you know, down to a SQL Server or, or a VM, for example. But what you can do is grant it at a resource group level, a subscription or management group. So when you're working with third parties, and, and uh, a safer way to really do that is by um, grouping the services into subscriptions per environment, for example. You may have dev test production, um, create subscriptions for those, create a management group above that, and then grant access there to the group that you created in Azure AD, whether it's your own identities or um, B2B um, guest users. And then you would apply those custom permissions um, at that level, and they would have access to those um, subscriptions only, the limited access and no access to any other parts of your environment. And that kind of just keeps it simple and, and clean and safe. Um, what you don't need to do, as some people do, is create a brand new tenant um, or create subscript, uh, create resource groups in their existing subscriptions and try and grant access in there. That, that's doable, but it's a lot cleaner if you just split it out with a uh, subscription and up, uh, higher at the management group level if you can. Okay, thank you. Hope that was uh, useful.